Hi, I'm Nick from Pump Products. Today we're going to be changing the mechanical seal on an Armstrong S25 three-piece circulator pump. All right, so basically all you're gonna need is you're gonna need a body gasket for the volute, adjustable wrench, uh, prefer a socket set, but we had an adjustable wrench available, so that's what we're gonna use today, and replacement seal, of course. You're gonna need some alcohol to wipe the seal clean before you install it. So before you start any of this work, always make sure the power is off to the pump and the valves for the water are closed off to the pump. So that way you don't have any issues when doing the work. So what you're gonna do is there's four bolts on the volute on the lower end. You're just gonna start disconnecting these. I like to just make sure they all come loose. Okay, so the volute's disconnected. You're gonna to wanna to remove the casing gasket depending on how long this pump's been in operation. You may have to take a, uh, a small screwdriver um, and just carefully work your way around the edge to remove this. This is a brand new one, so came out no issues. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the impeller. Now, it goes a lot easier if you do have a, a small strap wrench you could put right here. So we're just gonna pop loose the impeller with this little adjustable wrench. And there is a spring, so you're gonna have to hold back on the impeller while you unscrew the nut. And then slowly just bring it up and the impeller's out. And then this is your mechanical seal in here. So what we're gonna do, take a small, just a flat end, just pop this out. Carefully trying not to score any metal on the actual bearing assembly. Make sure you pay attention to how you took this out because it's gonna to have to go back the same way. And when installing the new one, the oils on your hands will cause the, sail, the seal to prematurely fail. You're always gonna wipe it clean with a little bit of alcohol. Make sure the loop face, or the uh, bearing assembly face, I'm sorry, is nice and clear. This one's nice and clear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up new mechanical seal. Again, be very careful with these because they do not like fingerprints. So you always want to get the rubber end and the ceramic seat. Spring's going to face up. Set everything in there. And you're just going to put the cap on top. So basically, for the most part, that's, that's what you would do. We're gonna put the impeller back on. Now there is a key groove for this impeller. So you're gonna make sure your key groove, key groove lines up. Set it all the way down. Put your lock nut on, sorry, lock washer, and put the nut on. Again, you're gonna to wanna to hold back with some type of strap wrench when you're tightening this up, but we're just doing this for quick demonstration purposes. Hold down on the impeller as you tighten because there will be pressure against it due to the spring. Slide it on. Make sure your gasket lines up properly, all the bolt holes line up properly. And when doing this, you do not have to remove the pump from the flanges, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the volute flanges from the piping. So we're just gonna cinch up these bolts. We're gonna wanna tighten them evenly to make sure your gasket doesn't leak. So basically what you're gonna do from here, simply put your, open up your water valves, turn the power back onto the pump and you're done. Check for leaks, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions on any of this, Feel free to give our product experts a call at 800-429-0800. We'll be happy to help you in any way that we can. 
And again, thank you for shopping pumpproducts.com, your one-stop shop for all pump needs.